everyone, my name is Alice and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be going through my favourite custom content creators. This is the Cass edition, so I will be having a build by video soon. So first off we have Sims Trouble, who is one of my absolute favourite hair CC creators. Um, they make really, really lovely hair CC. Maxis Match, obviously, um, I use a lot of Maxis Match, so I should probably clarify that most of the CC in this video will be Maxis Match CC. Um, if you know of any great um, alpha CC creators, please make sure to put in the comments of the video to let everyone know. But this, these hairs are just so lovely, and there's. I, what I like about Sims Trouble is it offers so many different variations. As you can see, I'm sort of flicking through some of my favourite um, hairstyles that they have. Um, they always have an untucked version, a version with and without bangs and stuff like that. Uh, what I also like is, I'm going to show you now, but they also come with lovely hair accessories like these daisies i actually use these for helena's wedding for the bridesmaids so really really cute um i'm also going to show you some other hairstyles by sims trouble this is missy she's one of the sims in my royal series um so yeah i'm just showing them off really just my favorite ones but just very versatile cc really for everyone every type of sim so yes sims trouble is amazing and i will make sure to link their patreon in the description of the video next we have sim celebrity uh, zero zero uh, this is a creator who I believe is on The Sims Resource. Um, amazing CC yet again, lovely hairstyles. Obviously I'm showing off the Mon Eleanor who is my queen. I generally use rusty hair on Eleanor the most. Uh, this is um, Naomi, so she is Henry's sister. So just showing off some hairstyles on her. This is a Harris Double Zero Brittany. Again, amazing hairs. I really like these. I'm definitely, I love the one with the bangs that I'm showing you now. I love that one. I'm definitely going to put that on a sim at some point. <laughs> um, and I've used these sort of hairs on like Helena and stuff before. Missy again, just showing off some other hairstyles. We have Milko CC. Um, this is again an amazing creator. They also create some amazing dresses, outfits. Also, Milko, I believe, makes skin details, um, eye presets, nose presets, mouth presets. So, really, you're kind of getting everything you want out of Cass CC with Milko. Just really lovely aesthetic stuff. Just very dreamy, magical, beautiful. I love Milko. <laughs> Now we have Rusty's. Rusty is probably one of my favourite all-time custom content creators, especially for Royals. A lot of the hairs they make are modelled off of, as you can probably tell, Kate Middleton, um, Meghan Markle, just like real life Royals, which I love because it makes it a bit more realistic and you know that these are actually like Royal approved looks, which is good when I'm dressing my Queen because obviously I want her in, you know, accepted, proper hair looks. So yeah, I and you'll see from what I'm showing you if you follow my series and my story, most of these hairs Eleanor has worn. I just tend to put Eleanor in rusty hairs because I just love them so much. Also Caroline wears these hairs a lot as well. So yeah, I love Rusty. Um, and make sure to go download all their CC. <laughs> Next we have Emma Sims, uh, lots of tiaras and crowns, you can't have a royal family without tiaras and crowns. These are more, I guess, for beauty pageants, uh, they are not quite accurate to what real royal families wear, but I love them and I think because they're so big and amazing and beautiful, I tend to put Eleanor in them, she's my queen. Um, as you may see from some of these, you may recognise them from looks Eleanor has had. I just, I prefer these because for the queen, because obviously she's going to have the biggest crown. So yeah. Also, Emma Sims also makes a lot of um, jewellery as well to match with the tiaras. 
Then we have Royalty Simbler, who is a Tumblr account who makes amazing tiaras. These are actually based off of real tiaras worn by royal families all across Europe and the world, which I absolutely love. Um, I love anything that's sort of historically accurate because then it feels more like, I guess I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm bringing to life a proper royal family. So I love this creator. Next we have Bats from Westeros and I love this creator. I think this was like the first CC creator I got my royal stuff from. Um, just a lot of amazing tiaras and crowns. Also if you see they have um, diadems as well which is beautiful. Um, just a lot of historically accurate and beautiful tiaras and crowns as well. So I love Bats from Westeros. They also make deco sims as well which is amazing for royalty um also they recently released a pack with queen mary and queen camilla's coronation crowns so if you have a queen consort or princess consort perfect for them because oh my gosh beautiful and we have simpire who is an amazing another amazing tiara creator again Tiaras based on royal families, proper royal crowns. I love this creator. Um, just so many creators for tiaras, guys. You will really not miss out if you want lots of tiaras. I have so many, too many probably at this point. We have a normal sim as well. So I love their tiaras and crowns because they also do proper crowns. This is where I get my crown from that my monarch wears, you, if you see that gold one that I just showed, this one, yeah. This is the crown I use <laughs> uh, for my monarch. Then we have Glitterberry Sims, who is an amazing creator. Again, one of my favorites, just so much lovely CC. They also do jewelry, which I'm about to show in a minute. So we'll look at that as well. So yeah, so much jewellery, just like lots of lovely earrings and necklaces. Also all of their pieces match, or most of them anyway, I should say. They also do rings, and I just realised now I did not show rings in this video, but most of these creators do like engagement rings and stuff, which you obviously need if you've got a royal family, because engagements and royal weddings are a very big thing. So yeah, I'm just showing off some of the necklaces as well. All of them come in different swatches, which is lovely. So if you have like a royal family colour, mine's blue, you can kind of tailor it towards your royal family colour, which is beautiful. So yeah, Glitterberry Sims is an amazing creator and they also have a royal story. So definitely go follow them. Okay, we're back to Emma Sims. I'm showing off their jewellery now. Literally beautiful earrings stunning i i think i just love using their earrings and their tiaras i mainly put these on eleanor my queen i think they just look amazing on her um coupled together as well they look even better i definitely have probably too much um, i probably have too much royal cc but what can you do i just kind of changed the dress there just so i can show you the necklaces properly um I'm scrolling through where are they here they are so we've got some lovely necklaces these match all with the earrings as well um i think that one with the that i just showed you with like the one in the middle that goes down with all the lines that might be my favorite one with the earrings i think that's my favorite set by them but yeah just absolutely stunning Now we have Sentate, so this is for the clothing CC, so again amazing amazing pieces, Sentate is really one of the ones to go for, they release CC like every month which is what you want if you're a CC hoarder like me, um, this was released for a wedding collaboration pack they had. Just a lot of amazing stuff. And this one here was a collaboration with Rusty's, who I'm also going to show you in a second. They're amazing, uh, CC. 
for clothing. So yeah, just amazing stuff, lovely swatches, perfect for your queens, princesses, princess consorts, queen consorts, just everyone really, beautiful stuff. Okay, we're at Rusty's now. So Rusty has so much content available, it's really kind of shocking to me. Perfect for garden parties. If you have like formal engagements and you need like hats and fascinators, they have so many like packs where you can sort of combine hats and fascinators with coat dresses and lovely morning dresses um, to match just amazing cc again a lot of it's modeled after real life royal families which is really good especially if you want to keep with the accuracy like i do where i can um just beautiful stuff they have gowns they have shorter dresses they really have everything um you may recognize some of these if you follow the british royal family or other royal families because you probably have seen pieces like this worn by them um yeah also i love this dress here I love that swatch. Anyway, <laughs> just beautiful stuff. Absolutely stunning. I love Rusty's. Now we have Sims Regalia. So Regalia is definitely amazing creator for formal dresses. Um, I actually have commissioned them myself to create dresses for me um, for like big events I do. So both the weddings, so Helena and Eleanor's weddings were commissioned. Coronation was commissioned for um, by Regalia. Just absolutely stunning stuff. So you may recognize from these dresses, that was Helena's wedding dress. They also send them in like different swatches. That dress is stunning and I want to use it at some point because I love the black and gold, uh, black and gold, black and white, sorry, <laughs> on it. Um, yeah, just such amazing stuff. Um, you probably recognize this as Eleanor's coronation ball gown. Um, yeah, here are the other coronation dresses that Eleanor had. That was her actual ceremony dress and then her uh, banquet dress as well. So yeah, I love Regalia. One of the best creators out there. Please go follow them and they do have commissions. That was Eleanor's wedding dress as well. Um, they do have commissions open and available because oh my god and I recommend to do it guys because if you want they literally you send them like ideas of designs and they go above and beyond to get it to look exactly like that. Then we have Syfix. So Syfix is a creator on The Sims resource. I kind of have showcased them before in um, the medieval cast I just did. Um, today we're looking more at modern dresses. I'm just kind of going through them now. Just beautiful designs. I like them because they've got lots of block colours and I think that can be nice, especially if you're like having a formal thing with a sash. That's my favourite dress by the by the way, that one with like the um, one-sided uh, sleeve. Uh, this dress is iconic. I just, I love this creator so much and they create just so many beautiful outfits, dresses for steak dinners, ball gowns, anything you want, they've got you. Now we have, I call them rimmings, but it's one M, so I don't know if it's like rhymings, but yeah, they're an amazing CC creator. Um, they're on Patreon, just absolutely beautiful CC. I'm showing Helena for this because I mainly have Helena in their CC because they have a lot of like, um, I don't know what the word is, but a lot of like, I guess, Y2K outfits and more current outfits. Um, and I feel like that's quite Helena's style. Um, I love this dress, they released that recently, I love it. Um, so yeah, they just got so many lovely outfits that I mainly put Helena in. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning stuff. Um, and again, they also release CC every month, which is really handy again, if you are a CC hoarder like I am. Now we have Mabley Store. So these dresses are a bit more alpha, they're not quite Max's match, but they are stunning. They're so stunning, I don't even care, I love them. Um, I do tend to use a mix with dresses for like alpha and Max's match. If something looks like quite 
like in between i probably will use it if i like it but yeah beautiful outfits i think they're best for like red carpets so if you have your royals attending like a movie premiere or a red carpet event this is literally the perfect opportunity also they come with capes like guys look at these capes like your sims will like own the red carpet in these types of dresses like look at helena look at her now we have Atalaya Lena, so one of my, probably my most UCC creators, especially these days. I have a Korean inspired royal family. Um, this is Princess Micha, so she's the daughter of Helena. Um, so I'm kind of showing them off on her because she's really cute and I want to show her off. But they also do lovely hairs, um, proper traditional CC, an amazing creator if you've got a Korean inspired royal family. And like, look at this cap. I only recently downloaded this and I'm obsessed with it and I think I'm going to have my toddlers in it all the time now. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful, beautiful CC. And I could not cre recommend a creator more. And uh, they also have options for boys as well. So child sims, lovely handbooks, more casual outfits, just literally absolutely stunning stuff. And obviously there's versions of this for adults as well, but I'm showing you the just the kids and stuff so you know that they do them for kids. Okay, now we have Melon Sloth, another fantastic creator. I'm showing off their male CC on Hajun. We have Bruxel Rain, who creates a lot of the amazing sort of military outfits that I use and other people use. Um, a very good creator, I think, I believe they're on Tumblr. Then we have Rimmings, Rhymings, again. <laughs> Happy Life Sims does really good sort of historical base CC, but I find that a lot of them you can use more modern day just because they look quite classic and timeless. Um, Atalaya Lena again, uh, just showing off their male CC. Um, literally just amazing stuff. Then this is Gorilla, Gorilla, Gorilla. They also do female CC, but I've recently been using them more for male CC because I really struggle finding male CC. Um, but yeah, they do a lovely sort of formal and semi-formal outfits for men. Okay, now I'm just showing off some Sims Trouble hair on my male Sims. And this is a newer creator I've recently found. I love their hairs. So They're definitely more Asian inspired, um, as you can see by like all of sort of the K-pop idol inspiration on all of the pics, but amazing hairs. Uh, you've got Sim Celebrity, Double Zero. Um, Clumsy Alien is another great creator for, me for NECC for hairs. And then we've got QR Sims, and I use this creator a lot. So this is Rusty's um, hats and sort of head pieces and fascinators. These are perfect to go with the um, coat dresses and everything they have. Um, I definitely would recommend Rusty's for all this stuff because oh my god, they're stunning. And as you can, you can kind of kind of see like Kate Middleton's in most of these sort of pictures. <laughs> uh, Melon Sloth is a, an amazing creator. They are one of the most versatile creators I think. They create cc for everything build by cc um they do clothing they do hats they do fascinators they really do everything so i could not recommend this creator more and they're on tumblr um so also they do thrones as well which is really cool okay guys i'm just showing off some of the cc and photos i've taken so i'm going to be doing a separate video for my build by cc it's probably going to be longer because as we know i've got a lot of build by cc <laughs> so i'll see you all again really really soon with that thank you guys so much for watching i'll put all the uh, links to the creators in the description